Welcome to this important edition of the Alliance for PE Pipes education series. Today's topic is repair of HDPE lines. With me is Chris Kunze, expert in repair of polyethylene. He's with HDPE Solutions and Chris will narrate this important education session on repair of polyethylene lines. Thank you, Peter. As we already know, HDPE is one of the most versatile materials that you can choose for the transport of water in your system. In this demonstration, we're going to illustrate one more aspect of HDPE that you might not be aware of. What I have here is a squeeze-off tool. And in the scenario that I'm going to present, uh, we, are, we are needing to put in a lateral, and we are too far away from the shutoff valve upstream. So employing HDPE, we can actually squeeze and shut the uh, water flow off so that we can electrofuse a lateral line onto the main. So with that, we'll go ahead and start. In this demonstration, we're using the Mustang three and four inch squeeze off tool. It employs double bars at the, at the bottom. So what you can do is shift, uh, turn it over uh, to change sizes. Very easily done. So we have a four inch uh, HDPE line here. I've already adjusted this to handle uh, the four inch, but what we're gonna have to do is pull the double bar out so that we can install the tool on the four inch pipe. And it's as easy as that. Okay, now that we have the pipe and the squeeze off tool, what we're going to do is we're gonna bring the top bar down to the top to the crown of the pipe. Okay, once we feel a little bit of resistance, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze about 10, 10 to 15% of the, of the pipe. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that the top bars are parallel with the bottom bars because if they're, if they're uneven, you're not going to get a proper squeeze off. Everything looks good. So now, uh, I'm going to continue to squeeze slowly because what's happening right here, as we squeeze the polyethylene, where the pipe is actually experiencing cold flow, the material doesn't necessarily know exactly where to go but if you do it slowly, it figures it out. I spoke about the versatility of the pipe material earlier. If you tried this with any other piping material other than possibly a polypropylene, uh, the pipe would end up shattering. As you can see, the pipe is completely deforming right here. Getting a little bit tougher. Okay, now I'm gonna let it rest for a second. And then we're gonna finish the squeeze off. Should get one more quarter turn and we'll be done. That about got it. So with this, now we have, uh, we've stopped the flow on the line without using a valve anywhere in the line and we'll be ready to put in our lateral right there. Now that we've stopped the flow on the line, installed our lateral down, down uh, stream, uh, now it is time to reintroduce the flow to the main. So with that, what we're going to do is start releasing the, uh, raising the bars on this uh, tool. So one thing you want to keep in mind is that when you're uh, reinstating the flow on the line, 
you actually want to bring the tool up a little bit slower than you did uh, when you were installing the tool. And that is at about six uh, or so rev full revolutions per minute. I would like to add, if you notice, I put the tool uh, at least a foot away from a butt fusion and on four inch that is the calculation for the proper way to squeeze it off. You, on a four inch line you want about a foot away from that butt fusion. Okay, now the tool's completely off. Let's go ahead and pull the bars. And now we have flow back to the line. As you can see, the pipe is just a little bit deformed right now, but given a little bit more time, it'll come back to almost complete perfect shape. 